So this is the new Z-Pax Ultraplex 2020 model. What's new? Let's have a look. So the first most in significant new feature that ZPAX tells me is uh, that the tent is cut with a cantonary cut and I think that means these lines down here and when I, and these ones over here because when I set it up it did set up beautifully actually it's got a really nice line very easy so it's sort of like cantonary is sort of like a parabola curve like that so it's like a curve that's cut designed to um, only pitch in sort of one particular shape, but like the right shape, perfect shape, first time. So you can see that cantonary cut from the inside. Sort of like it's got a really nice shape. So it ensures a really taut pitch. What else is new is uh, all the pullouts are now got mini line lock threes, as opposed to regular line lock threes. And they're almost as easy to use, but they must be a little bit lighter, which is quite nice. So that's a new feature as well. On there. On there. And there. As well as all the pullouts. What else is new is the uh, reinforcing is a new lighter weight. So it's sort of like this clear tape. You can see there and there. And then also on the inside here, like for the bathtub pullout doors. It's very lightweight stuff. So that's helped save some weight as well as reinforce those both bathtub floors and sort of side pullouts. So that's new as well. What else is new is um, the mesh. So the mesh is the new lighter weight, I think it's 0.7 or 0.67 ounce per square yard than uh, Z-Pax's previous uh, like stuff. And they've been using this on the Plexamid and the new Duplex I think. Um, so it's the stuff they're using now and now they've applied it to the Ultiplex so that's really nice lightweight mesh and it seems pretty durable still as well so no sort of no compromises there and here is the roof there's the apex so it's really lightweight stuff I like that stuff it was, it was a black reinforced thing fully thing last time and now it's just like that clear stuff so lighter weight uh, the final thing that I think is new is the seam taping or the bonding or whatever it is, is a lighter weight um, system as well, uh, ZPAX tells me, so that's another way to save weight. The, uh, the guy line is still a 2mm um, Dyneema guy line, the fluoro yellow, which I like. Uh, Darwin's model got the 1.25, I think, lighter weight um, uh, like cord out but I think the the two millimeter is a better all-round one it's just nice and solid and it's not much heavier so getting inside 
The pack says the dimensions are basically identical to the old Altiplex, except for the new Cantonary cut, which you can see in these seam lines here. The Cantonary cut is quite beautiful. So it makes a really, really taut pitch with fairly minimal effort. So, um, yep, that's an improvement, definitely. So getting inside like I am now, Yep, feels just as roomy as the old model and uh, just as um, much headroom. Maybe it feels like a slight bit less there, but we'll have to compare it to the old model. Um, but yeah, lovely and spacious and everything that we expect from an Altiplex King single person tent. <laughs> the uh, zipper works very nicely. Um, the nice pulls and then there's that mesh that's just it feels very luxurious easy to see through we've got the uh, thing here still with the spare blue color it should be um, tape even fiber tape the warning and yeah all this stuff here we've got nice stuff right there yeah all right so overall, the new Z-Pax Ultiplex looks great. Everything I wanted and expected. And uh, coming in at 440 grams, just under 440 grams or 15.2 ounces for everything, including the stuff bag. So I'm using a Z-Pax 60 inch uh, carbon fiber walking staff there. And it fits great. Um, if I was to swap it for a 58 millimeter, sorry, 58 inch um, trekking pole, this is the biggest, the tallest trekking pole I've got, and it's set at 58 inch. Let's see how that looks. So here we go. We've got the 58 inch uh, Lecky trekking pole. It's the maximum height that this one can go at. And putting it up like that. Seems fine. Just maybe cinch it down a little bit. I asked ZPAX whether, you know, they're now quoting a uh, requirement between 56 and 58 uh, inch trekking pole, like this one here, um, versus what they used to recommend, which was a 58 to a 60 inch, which is this uh, pole here. And they said, no, there's no, there's no difference really in the dimensions. They've just lowered the minimum, you know, requirement for, a, for the, hole because it will will pitch okay two mil uh, two inches lower so if I do this one maybe lowering it down a little bit let's see oh I hate twist lock trekking poles oh, there we go 45 so five I'll go there let's drop that uh, two inches so that'll be 56 oh, screw 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 so that's 56 that's a bit looser everything's a bit looser yeah that looks all right it is definitely lower the bathtub floor is sort of sitting further on the ground Maybe that's a good thing, it keeps it sort of nice and solid. One of the things I don't like about Z-Pax tents is the floating bathtub floor. It's always been my pet hate. It's only a minor downside in my opinion. Keeps it nice and low, so that's kind of cool. So it does work with a 56, which is, which is good, because a lot of poles will probably get right just to 56. So yeah, I hate having to carry a lower pole jack extender. Not because of the weight, just it's another thing to manage, another thing to lose, another thing if you don't have it, you can't use your tent, which really will suck.